hydro truck sitting there. Good Sunday morning, 36 hours post hurricane. Finally able to look around a little bit. I'm trying to keep out of the way, but there's not much on the roads. A couple days after the storm, most people have got the roads cleared and safe to travel. And I'm up on the Blomet and Lookout now. Couldn't get here yesterday. So we're gonna have a little looks about. See what we can do today to fill the time. I was originally planning on camping today, but uh, the park is closed. Well, Blomidon Provincial Park, my site for today, all cancelled. Post hurricane, just for safety reasons and cleanup reasons. It's unfortunate because it's such a beautiful day now, but there is a uh, set of stairs down to the ocean here. Let's go have a look. There's no fun to be had. The set of stairs to the ocean floor is closed, at least here. There might be another set up there. Let's go have another look. There's the trail. And there's the blockage and of course I don't have a chainsaw or the inclination but uh, I think the idea of getting to the ocean is pretty slim here there in the distance behind me is the Blomidon Beach and the set of stairs as you now know is closed down to the beach I had hoped to show you it's a special place for me a good memory there it was around uh, 2015 that I took the photograph that became my album cover for my first record. There in the fog, it was a completely different day just than today. Such a shame again that the parks are closed because it's such a beautiful day, but again, with the cleanup that's going on, it's only prudent. But a lady, a local, just gave me some pointers. Houston's Beach and Scott's Bay. I'm gonna try to get to those places, so here we go. Not much snacking going on from this apple tree. Despite the beauty of the day, it's a tough day for sightseeing. I struck out on Houston's Harbor or Houston's Beach or whatever the heck it was called. So now we're trying for Scotts Bay Provincial Park. Wish me luck. A little side trip, stopping in Canning here. Canning, Nova Scotia. The local library is also the Wolf Carter Center, the museum. Another spot I had hoped to visit, but it's closed today anyway. It doesn't have anything to do with the hurricane, but uh, one of these days I'm going to stop in and say hello. Lots of felled limbs here in the Canning Park. It looked strange to see a lighthouse inland so far, but now I understand there was a shipbuilding uh, company right here on this river. And during high tide, of course, the ships could come in and out, and it was quite an industry back in the day. All different now. It's certainly not a very wide river, although during high tide it would look a little higher than this. But I wonder if back in the days of the shipbuilding, if it was dredged to allow the hulls and the keels to make their way down to the ocean. Or perhaps the keels weren't attached until they were there. I'd like to know. But this is where Wilf Carter found himself as a little boy after he uh, left Port Hilford where he was born. He, uh, I think as far as the story goes, he came to Canning, Nova Scotia 
and uh, grew up here and farmed until he was uh, old enough to hit the trail. Often in those days, a boy of 12, 13, 14 would start riding the boxcars, a hobo and a transient, and he left for Alberta. I needed some exercise anyway. There you go, Wilfie. To think that you used to probably play right in this very park, you know, 100 years ago. I certainly needed a little exercise and a little lunch thereafter. Jamaican patty. I think we've had one of these along the trip somewhere earlier. Cheers. It's been a nice morning. Been able to explore a little bit. Feels good. Feel like I've been shut in for the last couple days. That's because I was. Anyway, let's see what the afternoon brings. All right, it's a little windy now all of a sudden. Blustery down here by the Minus Basin, but we're going to have a look at Scotts Bay Provincial Park. She's blustery. You know, I realized something as I was walking the beach. This is my last full day in the Maritimes. Okay, I finally broke down. I'm getting a haircut. This fine lady is going to make me look better. Look at these wings. Well, with that shave and a haircut, that concludes today's fun. So, see you tomorrow. All right, there was one more stop. I had to pop into the Valley Village that I just spotted. And I bought a few things. I bought myself a Bruce Springsteen autobiography but always some records to be found as well. We have here Jim Reeves on stage, live Jim Reeves, some medleys of some great hits of his. He had a golden voice. Should be interesting to listen to him perform live. Ferlin Husky, Wings of a Dove. It's, uh, that song, Wings of a Dove, is one of my uh, favorites to perform. And a powerful song, my sister's husband's mother's favorite song. And this tour has been all about Wilf Carter and finding Wilf Carter records. I found two more. Wilf Carter, 50 Golden Years, double record set. Some of them are repeated songs, but that's all good. It's just part of the discography. And another one, Halls of Memory by Wilf Carter. Looking forward to hearing all that.